is the layout of the area. Some old heritage buildings and houses and different things. like an old schoolhouse here, a one room schoolhouse. Let's do some video and see what's inside it. Get closer. C4 school, 1922. This old kid school, workbench. Old sink. Thank you. Uh, King Edward and Al Queen Alexandria on the wall. These are students. Here. Each of the students went to the school in the old days. Oh, probably like 1910 or so, maybe 20. Let's see what it says. 1911. Typical Burnaby House, 1911. Let me try to get some light on here. Milk bottles, you got some beer bottles, bean pot, old radio with a feed horn and everybody batteries. Bed, looks like a nice stove, awesome. The outhouse, it's a two seater, typical outhouse in the old days, 1911. Here's the house on the outside. Here's the old uh, advertising. Well, the reproductions, but Orange Crush, Thorpe's Lemonade, that's a real maker or pioneer company. Nice looking church. It's so clean. War Memorial, in memory of our fellow workers who fell in the war, 1914-1918, erected by the Civil Employees Union, Burnaby, 1923. Let's outside the church. Okay, we're checking that big uh, old barn. Maybe a blacksmith shop or something. Stay tuned. Old 19, I think 1923 train. Wow, it's a beauty.
BC Electric Railway. It's actually shut down, you can't go inside it, but beautiful. It's real old school stuff. Conductor outfit here. BC Electric Railway initialed buttons. Very nice. There's your route from the BC Electric. Go from downtown Vancouver all the way out to New Westminster. It was called the Interurban Railway Line. If you had been a visitor to Vancouver in 1907, you may have stopped in at the Vancouver Tourist Association between Georgia and Dunedin. Oh, the original window. Take a booth. Uh, we can't get out. No, did the, she did the same thing. Sorry. Railway uh, conductor's uh, light. Or oh, probably candle. This one's a candle one. It's a bell. Just ring the bell. Cool. During the restoration, these are some of the replica of rattan and different things. Pieces of original rattan from the 1200 series interurban trams. The rattan and fir wood. This is during the restoration progress. So these are electric trams, running on electricity, 600 volts. Really cool, data land advertising inside there. There's the rattan on the seats there, as you can see. Oh, they did a nice restoration job on this, beautiful. Brass plating or bla brass air vents. Lighting, armbars, perfect. There's a World Outsider uh, jukebox of some sort or a music machine. It's a military band organ. World Outsider band organ. Band in a box. Built in 1925. Basically, the mechanical functions of uh, the carousel. Basically, how it works. Here it shows us a fiberglass composite body. See there's a broken leg. I 
know some of the old ones are wood, right? So maybe it's partial wood. Unless it's wood with a fiberglass outer coating, probably that's probably what it is. Some of the parts that have to be restored and the tools. Century old it says. Do not climb on the tables or legs. The horse is a permit of wood. Some of you old folks might remember wood. You used to build stuff out of it. And the horses are now 106 years old. They will bring some butchers. So 106 year old, this carousel you're looking at, 106 years old. Officers and animals must stand beside them. You won't know why. I need a single ticket or a token for the rider. Not for the standy, please one standy maximum per child. Your purses, your bags, your backpacks, all that carry on luggage goes on the floor underneath the horse. Please leave it on the floor until the ride comes to a full stop. Don't try to put your backpack on while the horse next to you is coming down. It will pull both of you down. When the ride is over, don't go until you hear the bell. And look to the floor first. If you stop really high, don't jump. Put your hand up, we'll come and help you. If you can't do it, stand up, swing your leg over, lower yourself down between the two horses. Have your tickets or tokens ready when you come to the gate. If you Beautifully don't have restored, a it's very token, nice. You may purchase one in the gift shop. Very creepy. Really cool looking heritage home there. Wow. It's got one, two, three, six pillars holding the porch up. Beautiful. Let's see what else that house has to offer. It's probably closed, but we'll probably look at some of the windows, I would think. Oh, the door is opening. Christmas. Alworth built in nineteen twenty two. Bateman, Canadian Pacific Railway, 1922. Okay, this is the inside living room area. It's got a gramophone, furniture, paintings and watercolors, and so on. Nice piano, nice uh, fireplace. Actually, another fireplace. That's actually cool. Really nice looking sideboard, just beautiful. Looks like Ridgeway cutlery. Our dishes, Ridgeway, I'm thinking. Yeah, it's a pretty modern day toilet. I've never seen that kind of toilet. That's a unique looking toilet here. That's not standard. Cast iron tub. Nice 
nice hall stand. Very nice. There's the bedroom. Nice looking bed, dressers, harp type dresser. Looking at collectibles and neat stuff. <laughs> what are you looking at? Here's your uh, spice kitchen. That's called a Hoosier. Hoosier. That was a baking cover. Everything you needed is your Your baking cover called a Hoosier. <laughs> Old sink. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Look at this. 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 The good thing about that waffle maker is once you take out the elements, you put it on, you can do a 360. So it goes back and forth. Wow. Yeah. Oh, nice. Pretty exciting. We go through the drugstore. Inside the drugstore. Large crush bottles, Coca Cola. Drugstore. Drugstore. <laughs> Studio. Post office. Actually, that'd be a good one to go into. Is the general store. All your tea goods, candies, vegetables. Display. Very good. See that die cabinet? I got three of those ampulated die cabinets. So you got three of those. I actually got two of them. I had three. I sold one. I have two die, die cabinets.
There's the old school uh, Noma Christmas lights. Cool. Packets, receipts. Oh, that's a nice looking stove right there. General Electric. Hot point. That's your, probably, your, probably your first old school electric ones. Good working tools. Westing House Master Lamps. Well, advertising piece, very nice. Post Office. And Post Office enamel sign. Very nice. It's an old uh, 1910 or so delivery wagon, it's like for a milk milk delivery. There's your old gas pump, gravity fed gas pump shell. Very nice. Very impressive display here. I'll tell you, it's really nice. Here's 1925 Express and Dre license there, 1921. Right there on there. See that? So you see a motorcycle, a motor bicycle. Wow, look at that bicycle there. Awesome. Here's an advertising piece of how the, the piston works. Lose at a time. Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin, you should be more curious. Eyeballs. Is it glass eyeballs there? Only different glasses. Oh, nice little assortment of stuff. Very old. Looks like it's unrestored, original condition. It's a steamer. You fed your coal in there and it would just automatically run off steam and water. Very, very nice. Let's we'll see what locomotive number this one is, if I can see it. There's your little carbide light up there. I 
don't see any information here on this yeah, very nice shop. There's a big anvils, places. There's your forging station right there for forging. That's your hammering. You know, if you're hammering, it looks like it's a uh, somehow foot foot pedal controlled or something there, different or a scheme or something. I'm not sure. It's a hand crank drill. Awesome. Another nice little anvil. Very nice. power type engines there's a huge lay here wow it's a very impressive display here one of the one of the best ones I've seen for a long time with this amount of stuff here you can smell that grease old old school grease smell here's the mechanics and how it works steam engines very nice yeah I've been home maybe even older it would drive Fishing rods. It's got a loft up there, probably for the bedrooms. Sleeping area. Nice stove. Worked off a well. Very nice. Area. Well, typical bank like that in 1910. Okay. Candlestick phone. There's a thick, thick phone there. What's that? Oh, really big safe there. Yeah. Royal Bank of Canada. Music oh, shop nice. here. It's got uh, musical displays. Saxophones, trumpets, clarinets. Very cool. <laughs> There's a phonograph, Edison trumpet. Triumph photograph. Very cool. We're in a printer shop. This is a turn of century type printing. Wow, look at them. Amazing how they saved all the stuff because you know all the stuff would just be lost. Lost treasures basically. Amazing. Chinese type of herb herb shop. See all different Chinese things. Very, very cool. 1900. 1971. These are Chinese herbal remedies and so on. Cures, remedies. Tortoiseshell. Very nice 
display. But I'm pretty sure it can be a whole pin and stuff. Let's go. Come here. Hold on a second. Yeah, I hear what it is. I'm not running down this place. It's all cherry wood. There's Van Loo cigars. Cigarettes. Those are about to rare ten. Those tens are like 100 bucks each. 150 each. Pretty cool stuff. Your abacus right there. Oh, pretty cool stuff here. Yeah, what do we got? Is that things in here? Let's see. Pre-made medicines. Very nice display. In the uh, Chinese herbal place. I missed filming this section here. Little office area. Crates and stuff. Ginseng, ginseng root, dried out. Here it looks like a bakery. You got a cooling rack there, see that? That's cool. This looks like a hardwood rack. It's just a Hungarian or something. Huh. Huh? Old school mixer. Apple crates. Tiny piece. Flower company. Pastries. Wow, well, look at that. Wedding cakes. A typical bakery. Most of this stuff is features from around 1920, 1910 and 1920. Nice looking cast register. There's a clothing shop. Little different linens and all that. Nice little display here. Have to go in there and see. Nice old radio there. 1928 roughly. RCA Radiola 18. 1928 right there, radio. Nice looking stuff here. So the linens, fabrics and so on you want to order. So your styles. So a lot of repos, like repo things here. Like that's a repo calendar, but it's originally old. So I think they do that so that no one 
Yeah, I'm interested if they touch it. It's your old ice box. Old fashioned refrigerator. This little bread box. Little bedroom brass beds. Dresser. Very nice. Look at right, the sheet metal works. Little sheet metal office here. This is where they rolled and bent your sheet metal. Flashings and stone. Different ductings. Used in furnace pipes and other things. Tinsmith right here. Making a stove pipe. It's, it's hard to believe how, you know, it, most of the stuff was automated already like 30, 40 years after all this machinery. So, how people advanced so fast in time. You know, originally everything was made by hand. Every little thing was made by hand. And now it's just rolled in machines and spit out thousands and thousands of feet basically per day. Versus, you know, if like I had an order and I had to do a house, it might have took them most of the day probably to roll, you know, to roll the curves and slip them and slop, put little grooves in there and all that. A typical house might have 150 feet of uh, furnace ducts and ducting pipes. Right? It's amazing. Very nice. Everybody for watching my channel and supporting me over all those years and subscribing and commenting regularly. Uh, I brought this video to you, uh, Burnaby Heritage Museum display, uh, all the buildings and everything. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all the best, this prosperous New Year with uh, good health and wealth. Thanks for supporting my channel. All the best. Canadian Treasure Hunter out. Thanks for watching. As always, have a great day. Thanks.